Hi guys, Srikanth here. Yes, you are right. The title for this video is Learn SQL Server in 30 minutes. Basically, the idea behind of this concept is that we'll create the 5 minute session for all the basic SQL Server stuff and we'll try to finish it in 30 minutes. So, let's hope this will be a very good uh, for you guys to understand the SQL Server basics. Uh, if we'll the time we'll try to finish some advanced concept also so basically what this the session will have the session will have all the basic concept which require for a beginner to understand the database concept and after that we'll try to understand how the beginner can query the data how the beginner can store their data and how the beginner can update or can the delete data from the database right so this is really the introductory session and we'll try to finish all the basic stuff and i hope this will be very useful for all you beginner guys so basically the what exactly the database management system first thing management system as name itself says that database database means something is there which has the base and which store the data so database management system the which manages the databases called as the management system database management system. So basically uh, the concept come into the mind that why we have the database management system is it the from the starting time onwards no before database management system there was a one concept called as the file management system so how the data was stored before database management system the data was stored in files we was having lot of files called as the data files like uh, excel access uh, we was using this file for storing the data in rows and the column so there was some issue there was some problem while working with those files that the issues were what we can call as the redundancy the data redundancy was one of the important factor in the file management system like uh, for example if i want to update some data at one place uh, but let's assume that data is repeated a lot of places so it's my duty to update all the places for that particular data so that i will get the correct data everywhere so if i miss somewhere so definitely there will be a wrong data right so that data was totally wrong so this is this was a major drawback for the file management system so after some time the new concept came into the market and that concept is called as the database management system so in database management system we will have the databases in databases we will have the tables and uh, we'll store the data into the table right once that data is stored into the table we'll query the data and that language of querying the data is called as the sql that is structured query language okay uh, let's hope this is clear for all guys right yes so next thing is that uh, there are uh, the concept called as the relational database management system rdbms relational database management system means if there is a relation between the tables that called as the relational and in the database we have the relation so we will call as the relational database management system right so uh, in in database terminology maybe you people have heard about the uh, reference table right so what does it mean let's say i have one table and also have another table the value for the table 2 is dependent on the value of the first table so there is a linkage and that linkage we can call as the reference and that we can call as the referential integrity also sometime right so this concept is called as the foreign key that we will talk about later so what my intention is to tell you what exactly the relational database management system is relational database management system means a database management system where we have the relation between their objects so object means just like a simple entities object like uh, the tables procedure functions and all those things are called as the object in terms of the database management system okay so in this rdms there are a lot of relational database management system uh, the microsoft has provided the sql server we have oracle has their oracle one database ibm has their ibm db2